Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. Back again for another special video. And yes, we are doing another 345 Soap Company review. I cannot wait. 345 Soap is in my top three of all bases at the current moment. Love their products. Love the performance of this. And um, we just had a summer seasonal launch here, folks. <laughs> anyway, um, welcome in. For those of you that are new, my name is Silky Creamy, and I do shaving review videos. We get up and close and personal with the products. We take a look at what the artisan says about these products, and we compare it to what my first takes are. And uh, hopefully these videos will give you a better idea of these products, and maybe if you want to pick it up, or maybe not. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little bit more insight into these products. For those of you that are returning and those of you that are subscribers, I appreciate you very much. You're simply sexier and better, and you know that. I um, want to thank all my subscribers that are here, each one of you, and all those that leave comments on my videos. Um, I read every single one of them, and I respond to every single comment. And so... Um, you guys are what make this channel so special and for that i'm forever grateful for you folks so thanks again for coming back i really appreciate it and uh today we're going to be reviewing strawberry snot <laughs> what a very very um interesting name and um so we know what this is going to be a strawberry scent for sure um and so yeah let's just get going so i had purchased the um bomb uh, yeah, everyone who kind of knows me knows that I prefer bombs over aftershave splashes. Um, it's just a per personal preference. I have nothing against aftershave splashes. Um, I love them. I use them. Uh, but I prefer bombs um, a little bit more. Tend to get a better, um, uh, what do you call that, uh, post-shave experience uh, with that. Um, but anyway, that's why I don't have the aftershave splash. For this particular soap, but let's get started, folks. Strawberry snot. So, um, the guy has got, he's saying peace, and he's got his hands open. He's only got four fingers. Interesting. Four finger hands. Strawberry has four fingers here. He's got four here. Interesting. Kiwi. So this is going to be a strawberry kiwi, I would imagine. Very straightforward. This is usually how his, his labels are. Uh, he's known for having a lot of big colors, nice colors, and a um, kind of cartoony type. Um, um, uh, not really, oh, I mean, I guess some people would say cartoony, um, but a very colorful art uh, to all of his labels. John, who is the owner of the company, is a great guy, great person. He's based out of La Salle, Colorado, as you can see. 5.8 ounces of the Trinity Base. Trinity Base is donkey, camel, and goat milk. And there's beef tallow in here also. So you got this, huh, that's why it's called the Trinity. You get the three milks. And then he adds all of this other stuff in here that, you know, there's yogurt and lanolin and butter, coke and butter. Moo -moo. I mean, his soaps are just, this is why his soaps are in my top three. Because he also adds like the pre-shave stuff in there, which I think is the, uh, what is it? Forget what it is. I don't know if it's the hydrolyzed silk or it's the, um glycerin but um usually that stuff is in the pre-shave and he adds it in the soap okay very interesting on the back so uh, this is it's got a, like a crown on the top interesting i've never seen that let's go ahead and take our first look what I love about his soap is the translucent qualities it has. So um, it always has different colors. It's almost like it's a see-through in different parts. 
This particular one has, um, it's uh, darker colored because of the strawberry, I would imagine. But this is his pores. Really, really nice. These produce such a creamy lather. So three for five soap is slick and creamy, very creamy um, lather. Let's do our first scent. Oh wow, this is um hmm, this is different than what I was expecting. This is a better scent than I was expecting. Like I can pick up both the strawberry and the kiwi. And they're not a candy type scent. They're really um I would say a like a true scent. If you were to like let's say cut Let's say you were to cut strawberries in half and you would smell it. That's what I smell. But I also smell the kiwi, the same thing. Like it's real, it's, uh, oh, wow, this is really good. <laughs> Holy smokes. Um, the, the, the strawberry and the kiwi are evenly, um, are evenly blended. Like strawberry doesn't overpower the kiwi or vice versa. Oh my, this is really good. Oh, so this is a, I would say a six um, on the scent strength, six and a half. So more than mild. Um, and when you lather it, it'll probably go up to a seven. This is a really nice smelling soap. Let's go ahead and read from the website. He writes, um, so this is $16.95, folks, for 5.8 ounces. Again, very affordable um, for Americans. Um, brands, this goes up against, in my opinion, goes up against Sterling um, in the same realm where you have something, you know, really, really competitively priced um, for some really high quality products. So, um, the website says, what a fun summer scent. Fresh strawberry and tart kiwi. Beat the heat this summer. We wanted to have some fun uh, summer soaps, and this mashup was perfect. This is a limited time release that ends August 31st. Enjoy a fresh scent of strawberry and kiwi. Just the right about of tart and sweetness. Scent notes of strawberry and kiwi. And that's it. I agree. This is a wonderful scent. So this is a truly a seasonal. He actually gives you the date, which most people don't. So I really love that. You have to August 31st or, you know, I don't know. I can't imagine him making a fresh new batch like a three, like a few days before August 31st. So if you want to try this, I would get on this immediately. Uh, Cause if, if it says some people I think are going to pick this up and realize that it's really a good scent and he may sell out faster. Uh, but again, $17 folks for um, almost six ounces of soap. And it's super creamy. The, um, all the three different, um, what do you call that? Uh, um, milks. This is the bomb. So just to let you folks know, um, so it's the same cover. Uh, this is has like hyaluronic acid inside. Let me go over here. Give you guys an idea. Oh, sunflower oil. Yeah, so hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, grapeseed, all of the hot words. And this is their creamy balm. It's really nice. Oh wow. So this is more of a strawberry scent. Um, really nice. This is really good. Um, this is definitely unisex. Um, females definitely can wear this. Males can wear this also. This is really good, great, good, great, 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 great. Um, so again, this is three, four, five soap. You can get it on their website right now. Again, he launched this and a banana and a um, unscented um, lime in july so anyway 
Um, hope you folks enjoyed, and as always, lift people up, lift others up around you, and um, let's make our our lives better and our and our community better, one person at a time. As always, I appreciate you for stopping by, and as always, take care of yourself so you can take care of others. Peace.